Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had Jenkins, smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and have him smash it right now. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to the following patrons. Lori, 559CO, Ruben, Cornbread Killer, Herbuma AZ, CJ Zavalza, EOP Whisper, Las Vegas Flights Live, Charge My Fucking Tablet, Pre of These Nuts, Lockdown 5, Crystal Bond, La Reina, Hernan, Don't Trip, Winston, Alejandro, Trailero 760, Breathing Underwater, El Skid, Hobie Cat, Lead with Love, Elbert 12, AI Vega, Esquiel, Big Bad 48, JT, Nova, Linda, the retired CEO, Michigan Wolverines, Mikey 559, Abuelita Irma, Abuelita's Journey, Armando, the homie Marius, Chevelle 66, Gigi, and Dal Herrero. If you have not already signed up for that Patreon, make sure you hit that link in the description below. You're definitely missing out. This episode right here, man. Hector, what the hell you be doing all day? We ain't seen you drop your video. In the morning, what you got going on over there, G? <sighs> Straight off the press, man. Somebody may or may not have sent me this. Uh, Saturday, dated Saturday, November 11, 2023 at 321 p.m. Two minute read. Good. Kern Valley State Prison inmate death being investigated as a homicide. CDCR. Why don't you put California model up here, CDCR? Man, look, there's a lot of things to talk about here. Hector, how the hell? Look at these guys. How the hell? Look at these eyes. I told you about the eyes. Your boy Hector Bravo reads eyes, man. It's almost like I'm staring into myself when I look at this auto without the tattoos. Gee. Um, those eyes, man. Fucking lost. Ain't nobody home. The, the top of his tattoo says, fuck what you bang. Um, all right, got off. The eyes just totally caught me off guard, man. You see how, you see how they, a uh, window into the soul? Man. Hector, how the hell? You lying to us, man? They be playing foosball or what? Or they be killing people on a weekly. I do dare say it now. Weekly, weekly, weekly. I didn't want to get caught for saying something I shouldn't be saying or not accurate. Ah, these homicides are happening fucking weekly for sure, man. And that was not happening prior to 2014, 2015, right? Weekly. Yeah, I did see some people get murked here and there for sure. But, A, on, on the weekly, that's kind of a lot, man. So, Hector, how the hell do you have... <laughs> I was going to say booger eaters playing foosball with other booger eaters, but at the same time have dudes getting murked. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you CDCR is fucked up. I'm trying to tell you, right? Number one, booger eaters should never play foosball with booger eaters. Number two, inmates should not be killing each other on a weekly basis, right? Don't you think there's a thing called safety and security? Well, that's the thing. It went out the fucking window. Officials from the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation are investigating the death of an inmate at Kern Valley State Prison as a homicide. The department announced Saturday. According to CDCR release, two prisoners allegedly, allegedly attacked another prisoner identified as 41-year-old Isaac Duran with an inmate-manufactured weapon at 2.55 p.m. on October 14th. So Yard opened up. Oh, that's right before Yard recall. Somebody told me, Hector, one thing you know, one thing uh, be leaving the prison is every time you look at the time, you're going to know what's happening inside of a prison. That's a fact. That's a trip. I wonder if formerly incarcerated inmates have the same thought. So 255 yard is fucking running, right? Recreational yard. Duran sustained multiple stab wounds and was transported to an outside medical center for a higher level of care. He eventually succumbed to his wounds on November 9 while under the care of staff. Oh, so look at this, man. Wow, son of a bitch. What a trip. This one's the late one. The dude got stabbed on October 14th last month. The dude died a whole entire month later. Wow. Remember, I told you guys, I told you guys, I did an episode how these fools look after they get blasted. Life support, fucking tubes, tubes in the 
on their lungs coming out because all their lungs are collapsed. It's easy to collapse a lung from what I've seen. Um, Duran, who was received from Tulare County on April 17, 2003, they, made a, they did the invasion of, did the invasion of, uh, they did the invasion of Iraq around that same time frame. Had been serving life with the possibility of parole for two counts of first degree attempted murder with enhancements of additional discharge of a firearm, causing great bodily injury, assault with a semiotic firearm, and street activity. So I'm not going to say karma, but karma, right? You can see that if you live a life full of first degree attempted murders with enhancements of discharging a firearm, causing you any. You don't make amends. You don't fucking repent, repel, and do everything else. You will live by the sword. You will die by the sword. Damn, Hector, you're philosophical, my boy. Eh. While incarcerated, Duran was sentenced in Kings County to serve 12 years and four months for two counts of assault by a prisoner with a deadly weapon. So this boy, this boy right here, this 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 uh, Sureño, I'm gonna call him Sureño. Was uh, putting in work on the inside. Told you, karma. Karma. So if you're in prison right now, you're, you're the shooter, right? You have a knife and you're, you're fucking putting in work. You best believe your time will come. Oh, heck, you can't say that. You threatened us, G. No, I'm just stating the fucking facts. This guy, Duran, booked two dudes that we know about. Motherfucker got booked himself to death. The two attackers were identified authorities as Roland Corona 57. My goodness, man. 57, you need to be wearing your pantuflas tucked in, drinking your canela, your hot tea, fucking reading the newspaper, reading the Bible, reading glasses, bifocals, Vicks right here in your pechito on the bottom of your feet. My motherfucker's over there going and stabbing motherfuckers acting like, a, acting like this guy. Luis Alvidiris. 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 Alvidres, Despensa, en la tira, 33. 33 years old, man. I think that's the guy we were looking into the soul of his eyes. Corona, who is received from Fresno County on 2003, is serving. One of these dudes were fucking uh, crimeys. Same exact time frame. Is serving a life sentence with the possibility of parole. Nowadays, when you read this, life sentence with the possibility of parole, oh, they're paroling. Oh, they are paroling. So I read these life sentences with the possibility of parole. Oh, Hector, can he parole after killing somebody in prison? I, I mean, I wouldn't put nothing past the department. Um, look at this one. He also handed an additional... 12-year sentence for three counts of possession, of possession of a manufactured deadly weapon. So they're, they're all about that life. For sure, they're all about that life. Alvidres, the homie with the eyes, was received from San Diego County on June 1st, 2017 to serve an 18-year sentence, four-month sentence for two counts of second-degree armed robbery with enhancements of personal these guys are just too much with the violence, man. He, too, was sentenced to additional time while already in custody. Avidres was found guilty in Kern County. So, oh my. So why not give these guys fucking foosball? Well, number one, that's not going to happen. See, I think the department knows what they're doing. Of course they know what they're doing. They're dismantling it from the top down. Actually, from the bottom up. Oh, check this out, guys. Both suspects have been moved to the restricted housing. So restricted housing is, is now the new SHU. They changed the name. Instead of SHU, security housing, it's called the restricted housing. That's the thing now, for sure. Um, so let me know what you guys think, because I just let you know what I think. Here's the thing, man. What you guys have been doing is not working, right? I've told you what is happening in there. You got booger eaters playing foosball with booger eaters. You got COs playing basketball with inmates in St. Quentin State Prison. 
you have these fucking sureños. I will do dare say they're sureños. I don't know. I just get the vibe. I don't have to see any tattoos that I could recognize, man. I don't know where they got their artwork at. This dude said he's from San Diego. I'd be trying to see his placaso, see what part of San Diego he's from. Kind of very difficult to see here. Anyhow. All this showing up to work, just simply showing up and saying I'm holding the line. What line are you holding? Honestly, I'm not being rude. I'm not disrespectful. Like, you're just continuing to be the hamster on the wheel, man. The fucking, they are playing with you guys' lives, everybody's lives. The officers' lives, the inmates' lives, the family members of inmates, all the medical and psychological free staff, uh, psych staff lives, man. So how is it? Hector, aren't you afraid they're going to retaliate against you? <sighs> I think... Uh, uh, we're not going to get into that again. For what? Speaking the fucking truth? Yes, Hector, for speaking the truth. They're grimy motherfuckers. And so be it, man. So be it. Right? I'm ready. I'm ready. I stay ready so I don't have to get ready. Eso. Keep pushing forward. 